So we're gonna cut out a door window with a Sharpie. This method really surprised me the first time I saw it. I thought everybody hand cut on door windows or use the plotter. I've come to appreciate the simplicity, but you need a couple things. You need the car, duh, and you need a glass board. So you basically need a surface to cut out your pattern because one of the things about using a Sharpie is that it keeps everything very safe. So some people are very intimidated by running a blade down the sides. I get it, I've been there, I've damaged cars. It's not fun. So if you have your own workspace, that was, that was the other thing that I was trying to think of. You need your own workspace because you need a glass board generally. There's some people that have some cut boards that they might take mobily. That gets into a whole nother thing. I don't know quite how they do it, but we're gonna talk about the Sharpie cutting today. And I'll need a little refresher here because I don't do this regularly, but let's, uh, let's jump into it. First thing is we'll take a piece of film, we'll put it on the glass, and we'll actually take this bottom edge and lower, I'm gonna cut off the extra film here just so I have an easier time sliding this film. Like I said in the last video, if you have extra film overlapping and it sticks to the paint, you have a hard time move it, maneuvering your pattern. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna drag this down, um, basically to the spot that we would have it if we had the rest of this cut out already, our top edge ready to go. We're almost, what throws me off is we're pretty much doing this in reverse. So I have this, um, this is gonna be my bottom edge. I'm gonna tack this in place. I'm going to, I, I could probably do this at either time. I'm gonna take my Sharpie. I'm gonna press it up against the side. I'm gonna draw a straight line down. Again, I haven't used a Sharpie, but we can make those. <laughs> I'm really messing that up. It was looking so good. There we go. We're gonna put a straight line there. We're gonna to go to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pinch in. Use your Sharpie basically as your knife. All you're doing is you're marking your edges, and then we're gonna open up the window. You can see just how fast we've already gotten through this window. Roll it down, then we're gonna take our knife, start, and we're gonna cut. So three clicks out on that blade again. Keep the same angle as you go through that cut. Boom. Yeah, this is fast. <laughs> so what's crazy about this is this is basically, I've cut out almost my entire pattern here. It was just that quick on the car. Go over to your glass board now. And this is where you're gonna wanna keep a ruler handy to keep things moving along. Um, but I guess you don't even need one. So this Sharpie line, that was the edge of our window. So when we butt it up to that, you, you can make however big of an edge you want. Follow that across, round that bottom corner there. This edge here, again, this is your top edge. Keep that going along. Round that into the rest of your window. Flip to the other side. And then same thing, longer ruler, definitely beneficial right now, but we can do some guesswork here. Cut outside that line. Round my corner. Straight line here. That was kind of a bad straight line. See, we're a little up, so then we can straighten this out even more. What's nice is you can always cut extra film off. You can't add film back on. And uh, damn, dude, we have a pattern here. How quick, how easy and painless was that? <laughs> Something I may consider in the future. <laughs> Let's make sure that this has a nice overlap. If I wanted to make sure that it was extra overlap, I just cut a little farther outside the line. But I've got a nice overlap here. Top edge lines up. 
tack this in place. So I'm not going to install this. I'm going to probably hurt. I'm going to make people cringe a little bit here. Ugh. Crunch that into the top there. But I wanted to do it to check. See, this lines up perfectly along the bottom where I put it. This nice overlap on the sides here. Dude, that's it. That's my whole pattern there. Um, that makes it a lot safer. That makes it really quick. Uh, the thing is, you need a glass board. So for your mobile guys out there, you have to figure out some sort of like a, a, a mobile peel board. Some people are using Plexi. You need a surface that you can cut it on the car because you don't want to do that big of a cut. Mark your sides and just do that big cut right in the window. Your risk of damaging a car is way up there. But what's cool is if you have a dedicated space to do this, like even a home personal garage, then you can cut it out. You can draw your template, take it over to a board, cut it out that way, and you just remove all risk of damaging something on the car. It's just, it's completely gone. So I have now a lot of respect for tinning this way. Um, I guess we could go over the back window here pretty quick too. So I would basically do the same thing. I'm gonna have some, some normal habits kicking in here, so I have to think about this extra hard. Let's get that out of the way. Let's grab our Sharpie here. So we're gonna start with our bottom edge, which is about here. Why not? Tack it in place. And then we're gonna draw this side here. Oops, I could get better at that. And then we're gonna do right here. Wow, I'm really not good. <laughs> if you wanted, you could, oh, I, I already dragged it down so I can't do that. Like I said, you don't really have to round it, but you could also kind of just like draw a line there, kind of figure out where it's rounded. I'm sure somebody that's been doing this longer than me has a good comment down below for you. Pick this up, pull this down, put our Sharpie away. Then I'm gonna take my blade and we'll cut it out the same way we did in the last video. So we're gonna cut this edge first and we're gonna cut, oops, one more click there. Nice sharp spot. And we're gonna cut that edge there, peel this away. Go over to our board I need a longer ruler. Um, so let's start. There's that. We can continue that right about there. So a little bit of guesswork, but the more comfortable you get doing things this way, the better that you're gonna get at just doing them. Because honestly, I should, might wanna go a little in, but it should be close enough. Around this corner, and then continue this. That's where I, I have my little hiccup, so we'll shave that off. There's that. My Sharpie line, oh, I flipped it around. So my Sharpie line's in there, I can see it. Boom, and then that little line there, remember? I can just trim off a little extra if I wanna continue that. That's fine. And then we're gonna round this a little more because that's what it's like on the window. And we should be pretty good here. Let's go back over, see how this measures up. Yeah, dude, look at that. That's awesome. Perfect. That's exactly what you wanna see. Had a good question just now. The Sharpie line, where is that? That actually is on the liner portion. So we don't have to worry about that Sharpie line at all. It would probably clean off with some alcohol if you did it on the tint part, but there you go. You don't have to worry about it. Sharpie dudes, there's other ways to tint out there that I don't normally do, but 
I come from a very mobile background, or I was at a shop, and then I had to tent mobile a lot of times. So what I always could rely on was the car. So I always go back to like 100% showing how to cut on the car, how to do everything on the car, because I know first and foremost, that's what everybody's gonna have out there. But there's other little tricks and stuff that you can do. Um, so this is definitely a really interesting method of cutting, very safe, very straightforward. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, post them in the comments below and uh, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one.